Hi, I'm Dr. Purvi Parikh, and I'm a board-certified allergist and immunologist, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Nephi, uh, the new epinephrine device that doesn't use a needle. The way that Nephi works is you can spray epinephrine into one nostril, and that usually should deliver the dose of epinephrine needed in a severe allergic reaction. However, if that's not enough and your reaction is continuing to get worse or progressing or that dose doesn't work, you can then spray a second dose. Currently, the FDA has approved this epinephrine device uh, for all patients with severe allergies that are 66 pounds and up. The nice thing is that this is easy to carry. Uh, there's no needle involved. So often we find many people don't use epinephrine when they should because they're afraid of the needle. They have anxiety or hesitation around how to use the device. Um, and in this situation, it's an easy nose spray. Other caregivers and passersby and bystanders can use it, very similar to the other emergency nose spray called Narcan, which we often use for opiate overdose. People also often ask, what are the side effects of uh, Nephi or our needleless epinephrine? So in the clinical studies, the most common side effects that were reported were headache, uh, throat irritation, and nostril irritation. Again, because this is something that's injected into your nose. Um, but very rarely as well, you can get some of these side effects of the actual epinephrine medication as well. And that can commonly feel like your heart is racing or you're feeling very jittery. But if that does happen to you, do not panic. Um, that can happen with an epinephrine auto injector or an epinephrine pen as well. That just is a normal uh, side effects of the medication and just that way you know that the medication actually is doing what it's supposed to do and is working. Often also we'll get uh, asked who is eligible to have a Nephi device or who should be carrying a Nephi device. So if you've been diagnosed with a food allergy, you should have an epinephrine auto injector or a Nephi device on you at all times uh, in case of accidental exposure or cross-contamination. Also, if you have other severe allergies that can cause anaphylaxis, such as uh, an allergy to venom or bee stings or wasp stings or hornet stings, for example, uh, or any other insect venom stings, you should be carrying this device on you at all times. Often people will also ask me, uh, is this going to be covered by my insurance? So we certainly hope so. Often when there is new medications on the market, it is a challenge and struggle for insurance coverage and approval. But given that epinephrine is the only life-saving medication for anaphylaxis, uh, we do hope that there will be a push for insurance companies to cover this fully. If not, uh, there may be copay assistance programs and other financial assistance programs hopefully in place by the manufacturers of the Nephi device. And then finally, I get asked, is this as effective as the epinephrine pen or the epinephrine auto injector? And the short answer is we don't know. Because it's unethical for us to conduct a study or a trial where both of the devices are compared head to head, um, because in a dangerous situation, you wouldn't want to have some people randomized to having something that's experimental rather than the standard of care, we can't determine that they're equally effective or one is more effective than the other. What the studies did determine is that both did uh, give equal amounts of the blood concentration of the medication epinephrine, but once we see it used in the real world and once we have more real world data, then and then only will we be able to draw some conclusions on comparing the efficacy. I hope that was helpful. And again, if you have any questions, make sure you ask uh, your friendly allergist and immunologist. Thank you. And one last thing before I let you go, a very important point is that you should be heading to the emergency room whether you use the Nephi epinephrine device or whether you use the injectable epinephrine or whether you don't use epinephrine at all because you don't may not have it available to you immediately. Often people mistake having to go to the hospital in a severe allergic reaction with using the epinephrine. That is not the case. What the epinephrine does is buy you time because these life-threatening reactions can move quite quickly and seconds can save lives. So that medication will slow down a severe allergic reaction or halt it in its uh, progress, but you still have to go and be examined and thoroughly assessed 
by medical professionals as again the epinephrine medication may not be enough and you might need further care thank you